In today's video, we're going to be using Autodesk Inventor to whack together a simple 2x2 Lego base plate, which looks like this. It's quite easy to do, so let's get into it by making ourselves a new document. Choosing a metric template and a standard millimeter Inventor part. We'll click on Create. To begin with, we're going to start a 2D sketch and put it on the base plane here, which is the XZ plane. So that's our bottom plane. We're going to be drawing a rectangle first up today, and it's going to come out of the origin. So clicking on the origin, we're going to draw a 16 by 16 rectangle and press enter. Okay, so that's how, it's a square obviously, so that's how a square should be looking, 16 by 16. Finish the sketch once you've got that drawn, and then extrude that square a distance of 3 millimeters. Okay, and you can see the basic shape of our Lego brick coming together already. Next thing we need to do is put the little bumps on top, so let's start another 2D sketch and click on the top face of our Lego brick. And what we're going to do is draw one circle on there with a 4mm diameter, doesn't matter where it goes just yet. Once you've drawn that first circle, grab the dimension tool from your ribbon at the top, click on the top line, or the top face there of your Lego brick, and then the center point of the circle, drag out to the left and make it a 4mm dimension. Okay, that makes our circle 4mm from the top of our Lego brick. We also want to dimension this left side of the face to the center point of the circle and make it 4mm as well. Okay, now instead of drawing three more circles for the other three little bumps, we're just going to repeat this circle. Okay, and the way we do that is we create a rectangular pattern. Okay, so when your little dialog box appears after clicking rectangular pattern, just click on the circle once to select it. And then choose the direction option here and select this top line. Okay, and you can see it puts another circle out here on the left. We just want to switch that around, so flip it, and that puts a circle over on the right. The distance we want is a 10 uh, sorry, an 8mm space. Okay, we just leave it as two circles, so we've got one and two. So that's all we need to change. Click OK. And you can see we've got our second circle put in with the perfect dimensions. We're going to do that again now, so go up the top and choose the rectangular pattern. And the geometry we want to choose is both circles this time. And then for direction 1, click that arrow and choose this left face. And you can see two circles appear down below. Make the distance 8 millimeters, and press OK. Make sure it's on 2 as well. We just want two more circles to appear, so click OK. And there's our four circles all drawn and dimensioned perfectly. So you can finish that sketch, and you can extrude those circles a distance of 1.7 millimeters. So just click on each of the four circles, and then click OK. So you can see our Lego piece coming together nicely. Underneath now we want to shell out the bottom. Okay, so flip around to the bottom side of your Lego piece, and up the top select the shell option from your ribbon. The thickness needs to be 0.8 millimeters and just click on this bottom face. That shells out the bottom of our Lego piece, and when you click OK, you can see now we've hollowed out the bottom side of our Lego piece with an 8, oh, sorry, 0.8mm border. Alright, so we're nearly done now. The last thing I want to do is just put a little um, tube on the bottom here. Okay, it goes in the middle of these circles. So let's start a 2D sketch, and click on this bottom face. Zoom in a bit here. Now I'm going to project some geometry first. So click the Project Geometry button at the top and just click somewhere on this bottom face. And that just makes those circles on the bottom face come through to help guide us with our drawing here. Uh, when you're ready, grab the Circle tool now. And if you start to hover around the center, you'll see some guides start to pop up showing you the center of the shape. Once you get the center of that rectangle, click and drag out a circle that is 4.2 mil, and then click back on the center point or the origin there and drag out another one that's 5 mil. Okay, so we've got two circles, one 4.2 mil in diameter and one that's 5 mil in diameter. Finish the sketch once you've got that, and we're just going to simply extrude this outer part of the circle. Okay, so it's the space in between those two circles, and the distance we want to extrude is 2 millimeters. Click OK once you've done that. You'll see now you've got a little tube 
sitting on the bottom of your Lego base plate. And that's all done. Okay, if you want to add a bit of colour to it, which I do recommend, head up to that little colour wheel at the top there. That'll bring up your appearance browser. Click and drag over the top of the Lego plate there. And you can either browse through all the different colours, or you can go and pick one by doing a search. So I might want a green colour for mine. And I'm going to choose dark green. So I'll just hit the little up arrow on top of that green to apply it. Close the appearance browser. And you've now got a fully coloured in 2x2 Lego base plate. Save that up and you're all finished.